Well, hello there, guys. This is Agrippa Maxenius here coming at you with a tutorial for Check Your Six. And today we are just going to jump into a scenario and show you guys the very basics of the game. So once we jump into single player, we can go ahead and select campaign here. Of course, you can always do the regular tutorial, but we provide this video one for more hands-on action. I'm going to jump into campaign, and right now you can see I've completed a little as the allies. I want to continue here, and I want to go ahead and select essentially the side I want to play. Now, if I want to play as the Axis, I can actually go ahead and jump to some other missions uh, and select, for instance, the Axis as opposed to the Allies. In this case, I am going to be playing as the Allies, of course, and in this particular mission, we have to destroy three DO-17s. This is the mission objective right here. Um, so let's go ahead and hit play. Actually, yeah, let's hit play. I wanted to possibly take a look at one of the other missions, but we'll stick to this one for the basic tutorial. Now, if you look at the scenario rules here, this is where you can actually select which side you want to play as. All of these things are quite important depending on what side you want to play as, how you want to progress with your campaign, etc. If you look up here in the conditions, you can also get the weather, the cab, the table of clouds, and the cloud border. In this case, we don't have to worry about the table of clouds and the cloud border, but certainly the weather is an issue. And obviously, if you have rainy weather or foggy weather, it's going to be a bit harder for you to maneuver. You could incur some problems there. For now, we're going to be selecting the allies, and we are going to start the scenario. And when we start the scenario, we initially get some planes to, of course, drop onto this map. As you can see, this red area over here, these red hexes, show the ability of the plane to fire in that general direction. So, for instance, if any German planes come into these red hexes, I will have an opportunity to fire. Over here on the left side, we have our altitude, or our altimeter, and on our right side, we have our speed meter. You can see right now our altitude is 6, which is the maximum altitude in the game. In other words, we are way up there in the sky, and it's going to take a lot for us to actually come down. Now, what I'm going to do is just select these two planes. We have a third one behind us, but he's not going to be important for this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and move forward and end the turn. In fact, we will get this guy on the right course. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you fly off the map in this game, that plane could potentially be lost. That's something you definitely don't want to do. So we're going to go ahead and end the turn here. At this point, we get to, of course, select our movements. Now, there's a few things to take into account here. If we're looking over here and we select the plane, we can actually see the kind of plane it is. And if you look at the lower area in the lower left corner, you can actually see the pilot rank. Now, depending on how good your pilot is, he's going to be better at shooting, he's going to be better at tailing, diving, you name it, he's going to be better at it. So clearly, this is something you want to keep your eyes on, and you want to try to increase that rank whenever you can. Now, let's say you want to descend a bit, then you simply click your altimeter, and you go ahead and select how much you'd like to descend, and that's going to be represented right there. If you'd like to increase your speed, perhaps, you can go ahead and hit plus one, and your guy is going to go a little bit faster. Be careful, though. If you overextend either of these, your plane will spin out of control, and you will be finished. Well, those are the very basics here, guys, of the game. We're going to get into some more complicated combat tutorials in the future, and of course, we will get into a more advanced tutorial for things like Immelmans and things like that. I really look forward to seeing you in the next part, and I hope this helped.